all right uh hello everyone welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be talking about super node analysis so super node analysis is basically just the more, more complicated version of node analysis uh the complication being that whenever there's a voltage source that gets in the way of applying your kcl rule that time we apply the super node analysis so the only way that you would identify that oh, I have to apply super node analysis. That's, uh, that's how you would identify if you have this voltage source that's interfering with it. You would know because while you're applying KCL, you just, you just always try to find the sum of the currents entering equals to the sum of the currents leaving. And well, this, this does not have any current, right? I mean, when you're going to be applying node analysis here with the arrows pointing away, away from the node and all, that time this will just give out a voltage, not a current, no resistance. If there was a resistance or something, you could at least find out, you know, I equals V by R or something like that. But since it's just the voltage source, uh, you can't, uh, I mean, you can't just apply the conventional KCL rule. You could do a source conversion or something, but then that would be more complicated because source conversion here is not possible. You would need something like a resistor connected to it. Like, uh, like following the rules of source conversion is that you have to have one resistor kind to it so that you can uh, you could convert it into a current source. So that's why the alternative to this is super node analysis. So super node analysis, the first rule, the first step that you have to do, just like super mesh, is that in super mesh, when uh, when a current source is interfering with your calculation, you just do an open circuit thing to the current and the current source and then just essentially remove the current source. In this case, if you want to remove the voltage source, you just have to make a short circuit. A short circuit as it, you just have to put a wire instead of that uh, voltage source. So when you want to remove a cur uh, the uh, current source, what do you do? You just make it a short circuit. I mean, you just make it an open circuit. Oops, yeah. So open circuit is just... Uh, this like this will be the circuit and this whole thing will just be open empty and when it's a voltage source you just make it a short circuit you just put a wire instead of the voltage source so yeah the first step is you remove it now after removing it what do you get you just get this whole thing a wire right so this whole thing becomes one node because what is a node a node is a common point between more than one component since this is the common point between this resistor this resistor this current source this current source and this resistor so that's why you make this, I mean, you take this as one node. Now, you still need these nodes the, uh, to be identified too. Like, remember in the super mesh analysis, we had those I1 and I2 currents needed too, because if, even if we were doing the current was moving through this whole loop, you still needed the, the individual currents flowing through the individual loops because that's required for calculation and stuff. So similarly, you would need, it, you would need V1 and V2 in this case too. So let's write the equations. The first equation is that we first point out the arrows outwards. And this is V1, this is V2. So yeah, the first equation is minus 6 ampere. Minus 6 because the current is flowing upwards, but this one, your, your arrow, your taken arrow is pointing downwards. So minus 6 plus V1 minus V2 by 10 plus v1 minus 0 by 4, so v1 by 4, plus v2 by 2, plus 4 ampere, equals to, now this current is leaving, but this current is again entering this same node. So that's why this, the entering part will be here, equals to v1 minus v2 by 10. So since the current entering and current leaving is the same kind of current, I mean, uh, yeah, same kind of current, so you just essentially just cancel it out. So the final equation is V1 by 4 plus V2 by 2 um, equals to minus 6 plus 4 is minus 2, so 2. So this is the final equation for the first equation. Now you need another equation. Since there are two unknown variables, you definitely need another equation. So the second equation will be you now take this one, you now, now use this one because the potential difference between uh, two nodes is 12 volt. So the so uh, this, this is one node V1 and this is another node V2. So the potential difference between V1 and V2 is 12 volt. So this makes another equation. V1 minus V2 equals 12 volt. So always you would get one equation, uh, one equation from uh, combining a node and uh, getting an equation conventionally, like how you get it while doing node analysis, and another equation you get it by in this way: the potential difference between the voltage source that you removed while doing the super node analysis. 
So yeah, these are the two equations. And after the calculation, you could just use substitution or elimination method, or you could just use the Kramer's rule, but Kramer's rule, uh, you don't need it actually, because you know that's used for three variables, right? But you can still use it. So the final answer would be V1 equals uh, 10.667 volt and V2 equals minus 1.333 volt. So yeah, that's the answer. Uh, feel free to just check out, like pause the video and then try to calculate if your answer matches or not. So yeah, that's about it for nodal, super node analysis. It's, it's pretty easy. I mean, a lot of people uh, find it hard because they're like, what to do with this voltage source? How do you calculate it? All you need to do is the first step, you just short circuit it, take this whole thing as one node, and then do the calculation as before, and then another equation would come out from the potential difference between these two nodes that's, uh, that's, uh, in, that's surrounding the voltage source. So yeah, that's about it. Uh, please feel free to like and subscribe if you like this video, and good luck.